Hey, sorry about that. Uh, the video ended. Uh, didn't have enough space, so um, had to make a part two to this Ban T video. So um, this part of the video will be talking about band tees that I've had that I don't have anymore. Okay, so the first t-shirt is, um, I used to have an Avenged Sevenfold t-shirt. And um, I'm not I'm not like the biggest Avenged Sevenfold fan. I think I'm more of a bullet for my Valentine fan uh, than Avenged Sevenfold, or at least was back in the day. But um, let me see. I, I got it from Hot Topic. Um... Let me see. It was like your fucking nightmare t-shirt. And it had like a hand popping out of the grave. I don't even think it said your fucking nightmare. I believe it said something about a nightmare though. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it. I've seen a few people wear the shirt before. I've seen it on the internet a few times too. So yeah, I had that t-shirt. And uh, the reason why I threw it away was because I used to just wear it around the house. When I had it, I just wear it around the house when I wasn't going anywhere, you know, cleaning up or something like that. Just, just not, or my day off of work or something like that. I would wear, I would wear like my old band t-shirts and stuff like that. And um, I've a, I, the reason why I threw it away was because I didn't really, it was like a small, it was a pretty small shirt. It was like a medium because, um, because my mom, my mom dried it when I was a kid, so she, she, she kind of made it a little smaller than it was supposed to be, so I didn't really wear it out anymore because it was it was just a little too small for me. But um, okay. So second one is I had a real big fish T-shirt that I got from a, a concert. Um, I went to a friend's concert once, and um, they had the shirt. You know, I, I'm not I'm not like the biggest Cat in the Hat fan. But it was like a cat in a hat, Dr. Seuss type of shirt. And on it, it was a green t-shirt and it said, one fish, two fish, red fish, real big fish. And I thought that was kind of clever. So I actually, I got the t-shirt. I liked it, but I ended up selling it just because, um, I didn't even sell it, I actually just threw it away because I didn't really wear it. So yeah, um, you don't really wear it. So just just throw it away because every once in a while I gotta do spring cleaning, and um, I just I just thought it'd be I don't really wear it anymore, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just throw it away. But now looking back on it, I wish I hadn't thrown it away because I gotta preserve my band tees. But you know, you gotta throw them away. You gotta throw them away. So um, and um. The third one, and final one, is uh, I used to have a Slipknot t-shirt that I got from also Hot Topic. Um, this one, it was a it was a really cool shirt. It was a shame I had to sell it, but uh, I gave it away. Yeah, I gave it away. Um, it was a cool Slipknot t-shirt. It had all the members on it on the front. And then I think it, on the top of it, on the top back, I think it says Slipknot. So yeah, it was a really cool t-shirt. I wish I never gave it away, but um, I actually gave it to a friend and um, I regretted it ever since. It's so fucked up. It's just horrible because I wish I didn't give it away, but because I'll never find a shirt like that. But yeah, the reason why I gave it away was because there was like a time, um, I think this was like when I first turned 20, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I didn't want to be like. I didn't want to be like, I don't know, emo anymore. So I gave away my clothes and uh, I, I just like changed the way I dressed and stuff like that. Cause I started wearing like straight leg jeans and shit like that. Um, I, I still wore skate shoes, of course, because I still skateboarded, but um, I just kind of wore like t-shirts and stuff like that. Like um, medium t-shirts and stuff like that. Straight leg jeans, just more of a casual look. And um, it's funny though, it's, it's actually really funny though, because I think it lasted for like a year and then I, I was like, I was back to my old ways. So that was pretty funny because um, it didn't last too long, but it was fun while it lasted, you know, because I was like, I kind of got into like, 
I got out of post hardcore music and, and screamo music and I was like I was listening to like reggae and I was listening to what my friends listened to and all this shit. I used to listen to like pretty much like sky and and hip hop. That was pretty much all I listened to. I still listen to rock music because I used to listen to like Hail the Sun every once in a while, but I didn't really get into them until like until like a year later. It took a while to get into like Hail the Sun and and um, Stolas and all those people. It, it took like I would have to listen to them every once in a while and you know get into their sound because it was a little different than what I was listening to at the time. At the time, I think um, Allo Maternal had just came out. I think Allo Maternal had probably been out for a year, but I, I really liked that record. It was a it was a heavy record, but at the same time, I was new to their sound. But it was it was um, it was smooth too. It had its its heavy spots and it had its low spots, and and um, I liked the record. So, um, but yeah, um, let me see. What else did I go over? I went over when I got it. And then, we'll slip back. then, yep, that's it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, um, and tune in next time because I'll probably be making some more videos, but it'll just be gradually throughout the year. So um, whenever I make a video, I'll send notifications to like Facebook and Instagram. And nobody gets on fucking Instagram anymore, but I guess I'll still I'll still do it because I don't get no likes on Instagram, but it's okay. All right, you guys take it easy and I'll see you later. Bye.